Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my vlog and this time I'm going to show you on how to book a MOFA appointment or on how to pay a MOFA attestation while you are outside Saudi Arabia. So there's a lot of embassy outside um, wherein you can do the walk-in but all you have to do first is to pay it online or you have to pass through agency to have the payment settled before you go inside the embassy. But for some countries like the Philippines, well, there is agency, um, appointed agency or authorized agency to only um, process the attestation of your documents and they don't allow walk-in. So now, first things first is you go to your search engine and whatever it is, it, it could be Microsoft Bing, or Google type MOFA ratification so here it is okay and then so find for the ratification appointment so and you will see here and from this page you cannot see the link going to the um, ratification request or the payment procedure request so go here click conditions and requirements and click this service.mofa.gov.sa so it says here that you have to register personal information on this site and then determine, define the number and type of documents to be attested, choose the day and time, pay payment and pay the fees, print the appointment. Okay, now when you click this, you will be leaded to this page. Now if you're outside Saudi Arabia, you have to click Saudi Missions Overseas. But while you're here in Kingdom, you can press Ministry of Foreign Affairs or it branches so it will show up here these are the different branches of Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Saudi Arabia and since this vlog is intended for outside Saudi Arabia so you have to press Saudi Mission Overseas and then click Mission so look for the city where you are residing or the capital city so for let's say for UAE we have this Abu Dhabi okay so if you're in Taiwan we have Taipei and if you are living in Dubai we have Dubai also the Dubai consulate and then we also have yeah see there's a lot of it so it's a lot even Manila we have here Manila so now going back you go for taipei and then let's say you are from taiwan this is taipei okay of course you have to put not saudi so you have to put your name juan juan de la cruz okay that's it then type your passport number then your mobile number it should start with zero zero Let's say uh, in Taiwan it's 853. This is the local, of course, your email, and then add new document. So let's say for email, I, let's say it's Cruz. Cruz de la Juan. This is just sample at yahoo.com. Now you have to do is add new document. So if you're paying for um, Saudi police clearance, you have to put the name of the document, that's certificate of police record. And then let's say you're going to pay for the SPA. So let's say um, you can actually put two documents. It doesn't matter whether you put a uh, certificate of police record clearance and then you're paying SPA, it really doesn't matter. The important thing is that you only pay for the um, attestation. So let's say uh, that's two. Now you have to put the code 9477 and then submit. So that's the example. And then it will send you notice or email that you already uh, made a, an appointment and you have to pay it through online so for the online payment I will show it to you on the second video so guys um, I just covered the details once you press enter or confirm this will be the output so there will be a request number and then the ingest request number 
uh, this is the code or the numbers that you have to encode on during the payment of your documents. So see, while you are outside, we are using the passport number instead of the residence ID. And then the and this one, the documents that to be attested is personal authorization letters. So means fees fees have not been paid. So press here to continue. This is the visa platform. Now you have to you can pay through credit card that that is only eight point seventy five dollars. And there you go, guys. After paying for the MOFA fees, it will lead you to a page where you can print out the barcode and then all you have to do is bring it to the embassy now take note guys and disclaimer also not all saudi embassy are allowed for walk-in there are some embassies that you can walk in and for a certain time and there are also embassies who do not accept walk-in you have to pass through authorized agencies for the attestation of your documents Let's say for uh, Dubai, you can walk in from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. That includes also Taipei. And for Manila, let's say they don't accept walk-in, but you have to go through the East-West Agency for the attestation of your documents and you have to pay there like 1,700 pesos. That includes the translation of your documents that is needed to be attested you will not really know if the Saudi Embassy or Consulate is accepting walk-in not until you go there and ask them. So I hope you learned something new from this vlog on how to pay your Ministry of Foreign Affairs fees while you are living outside Saudi Arabia. So don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. That's it guys. Bye!